Hi, Bill Greenberg from PhoneScholar.com. Today is Thursday, May 13th, and as Gene Wilder in Willy Walk on the Truck Factory said, we have so little to do and so much time to do it in. Stop, quick, reverse that, and here we go. I have to tell you a couple of these stories. Just as an armchair comedian, I had to put them in here, and you'll understand. Not this one. Um, Sprint promises cheapest pay-as-you-go at Walmart. Sprint is rolling out their fourth pay-as-you-go or prepaid uh, type of co company concept, whatever it is, um, that'll be starting on May 15th at Walmart. It's going to call, com it's called, sorry, I'll slow down a little bit, Common Sense Mobile. Uh, they're going to be, instead of a monthly fee with no contract, like the boosts and the stuff like that for unlimited minutes, they're doing, going back to the old fashioned is the pay as you go, but instead of 10 cents a minute, they're doing 7 cents a minute, which is the lowest you can. Then they're doing something that nobody else is ever doing. They're doing a round down feature. If you talk for 3 minutes and 55 seconds, the call only costs you 3 minutes or 21 cents. So that's really cool. And for people who are real cost conscious, it's going to be great. The phones are going to be inexpensive. There's going to be a basic LG at 1977, then a Samsung with a few more features at 3977, and then a Kyocera at 6977. Again, they're just going to have more features. One's going to have a camera, one's not, stuff like that. Um, they are only also going to have voice basic features like voicemail, text, caller ID. Um, I'm not sure if there's going to be web browser or anything. You're going to have to check that out. The way it's going to work, you can buy a $20 card, which gives you 30 days of service. Now, if you don't use all that in thir uh, 30 days or re-up within 30 days, you will lose what's ever less. That's the way these things work, so you have to kind of be careful with that. And you can get up to 565 minutes with that, or you can get a $30 card, which would give you 60 days. And again, like I said, if you're at like 55, 6, 58 days, you can always probably go into the website. This is the way they've always worked, so I'm sure it's the same way. Uh, renew them, and then that'll extend it, and you won't lose any time. And that'll give you up to 848 minutes. You can buy unlimited messaging for $20 a month. And if you do want to get data access, like um, I guess the web, stuff like that, it's a dollar per megabyte per day, which can actually get fairly expensive, so you want to be careful about that. Um, and of course, as with all the other stuff, there are absolutely no contracts. No early termination fees and no sign-up fees. So not a bad thing for people who are in very, very limited income um, or who just want a basic phone that they're not going to use a lot. But again, you have to remember, if they're not going to use a lot, the card's going to get burned up and they're not. it's not going to be good. So that may not be a good idea. There was a survey done, um, and <laughs> the funny thing is, it was a telephone survey that was done about the use of you still using landlines in houses and a quarter of the people that were surveyed said they no longer even have a landline they're strictly using a cell phone or, or a mobile device um, it was over 21,000 homes over 55,000 people um, but my whole question is if this was a telephone survey if they didn't have the cell phone number of the person shouldn't this be a hundred percent because uh, the only people they can get a hold of had landline phones but hey what do I know um, the funny the other thing is they said 15 percent of the people who did have landline phones never use them um, they never get calls or anything like that, so they're basically paying for something they never use. And the real interesting one in the demographics, the 25 to 29 year old people that they interviewed, that number went up to 50% for only having cell phones. So very interesting. Um, you're going to see this more and more, and eventually, unfortunately, the landline, for the most part, is going to go away. Now, the next two articles, I have to again, as an armchair comedian, these just go. They're they're just too funny. I can't. I can't. I couldn't write this stuff. HTC countersues Apple to stop iPhone, iPod, and iPad sales. Now, two months ago, uh, Apple sued um, HTC they, they, for 20 patent right infringements. HTC is now firing back with five of their own. Um, and it, it's, I don't know, um, where did I put it on here? Oh, personalized phone dialers. Um, I don't know. Uh, Toe pickers and fingernails. Who knows what these all these things are? And I understand. Listen, you're talking billions and billions and billions of dollar potential dollars. So I understand the concepts behind these. But the last line in this article was the greatest. Don't worry. Nobody's going to stop being able to sell you an iPod or an iPad. You're going to be able to get them if you want them. And if he, this is what's going to happen if the lawsuit settles, Apple and HTC would announce joint licensing deals, drop the suits, and everybody goes home. So why don't they just do that in the first place? That This is the amazing thing for me, is how these companies are just so stubborn. And here's the second one. 
Adobe has put a full page ad. Um, I, somebody, I, the, the, the comments that I read was in the Seattle Times. Um, I'm not sure exactly where else. And they're doing a web base saying Adobe Heart Apple. The thing says, we love Apple. Which, as I reported before, Adobe and Apple are going back and forth because Adobe's system doesn't work with Apple, the, the open flash system and stuff like that. And Apple's saying, why don't you just develop it this way? And Adobe's saying, well, we've already developed this way. And they're just going back and forth. And again, I understand we're talking about billions and billions of dollars. But when you read this stuff and take a look at the article, it, it, I honestly feel... Oh, and the bottom, I'm sorry, I forgot. Um, the, on the end of the, the thing... Adobe literally put, Apple is the enemy of freedom. I, this sounds like when my son has a, a, somebody who's coming over to play, two nine-year-olds going at each other, all of a sudden they get into a fight because one wants the red car and one wants a green car. And, you know, you could just, well, you use it for half an hour and the other one, or you give, you give them both. It's, it just is mind-blowing. And again, I'm not behind the doors. I'm not, it, 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 it's not there, and I understand we're talking about billions and billions of dollars, potential dollars, but you would think that these guys would just kind of could get together and say, oh, you know what, let's just work it out. But, hey, you know, maybe that's why I'm here and they're there. Who knows? Um, in ca oh, I just want to put, I put a couple of new quotes in. I really want to read them real fast. Um, Against the Assault of Laughter, Nothing Can Stand by Mark Twain. I really like that one. And then someone sitting in the shade today because someone planted a tree a long time ago. Uh, and that's from Warren Buffett. Now, of course, that, if the tree naturally was put there by a seed falling somewhere, we won't go into that. And then a couple of new observations. If the Jacksonville Jaguars are called the Jags and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are called the Bucks, then what are the Tennessee Titans called? Think about it for a second. And then if you combine FedEx and UPS, would you get fed up? So I like those. Um, and under categories, Blackboard, BlackBerry had, RIM has a, um, announced a smartphone strategy, so check that out. And Android, had, I guess there's a 2.2 Android leak. So go ahead and check that out, and uh, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Thanks, guys.